Welcome. Let's find the point of intersection for these two lines by graphing them using the slope y-intercept method. Line 1 is negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Line 2 is 1 half x minus 6. To graph the first equation, what you're going to do is find the y-intercept, which is positive 1, and then you're going to graph it. So 0 comma 1 is graphed by starting at the origin and going up one unit and just plotting the point right here. To find the second point, look at the slope. It says negative two-thirds. In simple English, you start at the y-intercept, go down two units, and go across three units, like so. To find the third point, again use the slope of negative two-thirds, which means from the second point go down two units, and go across three. Now simply draw a line through these three points like so. Now we're going to graph the second line. So locate the y-intercept for the second line which is negative six and now we plot the y-intercept. So start at the origin, go down six units and plot your y-intercept for the second line like so. The second point is found like so one half is your slope, so that means go up one unit and go across two units. To find the third point, repeat the process. Go up one unit, go across two. And lastly, go up one unit and go across two. Now draw a line to these three, uh, sorry, these four points, like so. Line one is here line 2 is here. The point of intersection appears to be 6, comma, negative 3. Now let's verify that this is true. When we take the value 6 and substitute it into the first equation, we replace x with a value of 6 and we go 6 times the negative 2, which is negative 12. Negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So 6 comma negative 3 lies on equation 1. Now for equation 2, take 6 and put it into the placeholder x. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So in fact 6 comma negative 3 is a solution. Algebraically we have shown that it lies on equation 1 and on equation 2. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, we have drawn equation 1 and equation 2 is two separate lines and indicated that the point of intersection is in fact 6, negative 3.